this week we explore more of Townsville. Get our fridge going again. Unbox a new underwater camera. And go to great lengths installing Wi-Fi to the boat. back to all the stars sailing adventures on approach to townsville our last day of sailing we discovered we'd had a broken fridge Rach is doing yoga in the background and i am about to get into the bilge and fix the fridge so the part arrived yesterday. Oh my god, it's such great yoga. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Accessing our MDM to replace it with this one. MDM stands for motor driver module. So that's what switches on and off uh, the pump motor. So we've got to take the cover plate back off our Ausfridge fridge unit. free up this controller, take that off the MDM so I can get to that. I managed to get that off without damaging anything. Now I've just got to get this guy out. So there's a screw down there I've got to get to. So I've just been on the phone to Osfridge and uh, it's very hard for me to get that out. That's There's really no room there for me to get Unlug that from the coupling. The fact that I can't flex this stainless steel body away anymore because of the bulkhead. I need that extra room, so I've actually got to unbolt this whole fridge unit from its mount. Now, how you're supposed to get that over there, I do not know. I've unbolted this whole thing and it's jammed in there, and I've got too much force on the gas lines. It took about 45 minutes of wrestling to get that out of there. I've cut all the old wires off. I have to solder the new ones on and get the new unit back into place, which is going to be quite a bit of fun. We have our MDM in there. I've adhesived back on the controller. Ready for a test run. All cable tied back into place. Rach is going to do the honours and flick the switch. You want to just switch the um, fridge circuit. That's success. The unit is running, and um, I've just spoken to the techs again from Oz Fridge and checked in that all the settings are right now on the controller, so it will cool down to the right temperature. Yeah, we've well, got our fridge back. So I'm going to put the lid back on this unit and hopefully I'm going to have to touch it for a while. So look what we've got in the post. I'm sure our viewers will be a little bit excited to know we're about to step up our underwater footage. So far it's been on a really crappy old GoPro. Mm. Wow. That is so fancy. Made in the US. In there. Sure, we can't go back now? No, Potentially the biggest mango tree I've ever seen in my life. Walking the west end of Townsville. Really? Some heritage hotels. 
race course, industrial area. Episode 11 and Rach has been making running repairs on our clothing and wow. various things. Yep. Oh yeah. It's not too bad. Followed the line pretty well. Perfecto. Well, wouldn't say that. Bravo. As a Townsville Marina in the background. Uh, Rach is just having another online uh, Zoom lesson for a uni. So we've got Peter from next door, or Peter and Janet, on board Deja Vu. They're in the same marina again. Pete's going to come over in the morning and give me a hand to get cable up. It'd be really good to get that Wi Fi network set up for the boat so that we can, Rach can use internet wherever we are. Yes, sir. So this is our. 4G high gain aerial. This is the mast bracket. To get this cable up the mast is the onboard seniors we have, which are basically a Bluetooth um, communication headset. Okay, so what are you doing? So uh, we're all set up, ready to go. I'm pulling the cable up because um, we need to get a high gain aerial to the top of the mast try and boost Wi-Fi and internet reception when we're sailing. So there's some uh, unknown factor as to how, whether or not that size cable, I think it's a 12 mil gauge cable, will go up through the conduit with all the other cables. But the only way to find out is to give it a go. By using the existing wind instruments cable within the mast conduit, we were able to pull up a mousing line for use with the new cable that needed to be pulled to the top. You should be serious. Sorry. It's so funny there was a lack of surprise because I can't. A, a this little camera that I got off eBay for about twenty bucks. Yeah. And it plugs into your phone, and um, uh, and you can actually see. Oh, well, it's moved. Oh, there it is. It's just me there. So, so you, you can, can see, see the you can see the blue cord. The, yeah, the blue cord going in the in the conduit. Yep. So we've given up for the day. We haven't been able to get the cable up the mast. Uh, it was jamming at the bottom of the mast, so we figure it's probably not getting into the conduit. So yeah, I'm buggered. I've been up there, up there twice, and a couple of hours of hanging off the top of the mast. Have another go in the next few days to see whether we can try a different tack. So on the second attempt, we managed to get the wind instruments cable down, back down. I had another stab at getting the aerial cable down. Just the conduit's too thin to carry all the cables. Uh, it's jammed up there. I left it up there because it's raining and we might reassess it with a bit more energy another time. Sure. Rach has just been my <clears throat> rigging assistant to get me up the mast again. Again. And this is a cable that we managed to pull back out of the mast. Which is quite an effort. But, uh, yeah, now the dilemma is whether the cable is damaged or whether it's still good and then how else to fit the bloody thing. In the end we ended up pulling the cable through the mast in a flexible conduit to the top and it exiting through the side of the mast. <clears throat> I managed to install our router um, with power, 12 volt power to it. I was able to conceal that cable down the mast. And now I've been waiting on the terminal ends to arrive so I can connect that to this through a patch lead. Post arrived today from Gary at 2016 Marine Electronics with Sundays and I am pretty keen to get these crimped onto our cable to make this thing go. So I'm going to get up the mast as quick as I can this morning and fit the bracket, mast bracket onto top of the mast for the aerial and then I've just got to um, uh, crimp on the terminal end onto 
the cable at the top and then connect up my aerial and then we should have a Wi-Fi unit that's working, but we will see. Probably should have skipped a coffee and a walk that morning because the wind was already up to 20 knots. Despite the conditions, I was able to complete the installation of the aerial at the top of the mast. Join us next week as we journey through the Palm Islands and discover a majestical place.